Hey, it's me, Chris, and I'm here to help you set up your OBS better, quickly and easily. I'm here to help you set up your Twitch audio so that way things that are copyrighted like music, background audio, and things like that don't go to your Twitch VOD tracks so that way you don't get copyrighted. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your settings, then you're going to go to audio, and you're going to make sure that your desktop audio is disabled. We do not want to capture our whole desktop audio because that's going to capture all the audio of your system. So now that we got your desktop audio muted, what we're going to do is go to the, your settings and we're going to go to output. This is where we're going to set OBS to differentiate the two audio tracks away from each other. You're going to make sure that your Twitch VOD track is enabled or checked. And what this is, is your Twitch VOD track is all the audio that gets recorded for your VODs. And then audio track is all the audio that gets recorded for your live stream. So that's the difference between the two. Audio track will be anything your viewers in your live stream will hear. Twitch VOD track is solely for the audio being heard on the VODs. So go ahead and set those, hit apply and okay. So now with this setup, this will allow you to use any kind of copyrighted material in your live stream for Twitch, whether it's Spotify, YouTube, Pandora, or any other service that you use. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and add our audio feeds, right? So now that we have the desktop audio muted, we have the two audio checks separated, we now have to add audio application capture betas. So now what you're having to do is you're gonna to have to add each one of your audio inputs individually. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add Spotify. For those that use Spotify's music service, you can bring it in simply by having Spotify open in your desktop, as you can see down here at the bottom. Click Spotify Premium. You're gonna want this match title, otherwise find a window of specific type and go ahead and hit okay. That's gonna add Spotify into your sources. This is now its own audio source. Next, what you're going to do is go down to advanced audio properties In advanced audio properties. What you're going to want to do is select which tracks go to which audio outputs. So you can see our track one is our live stream audio. So anything you want your live stream or viewers to watch, make sure track one is selected for anything you do not want recorded in your Twitch VOD tracks. You're going to deselect track six. So along with setting your Twitch VOD tracks, you can go over and set your audio monitoring. For this, most things should be monitored off because you're gonna hear your audio for each individual source through your desktop audio. But if there are some things that you do not wanna hear, you can simply go monitor off, which means you do not hear it, but it still outputs to your stream. Monitor only, which you hear, but your stream does not. Or monitor and output means you hear it and so does your live stream. Some sources of things that you want to hear like that would be like browser sources. Some browser sources you want to hear because it doesn't come through your desktop audio. So you would put that monitor and output so that way you hear it and so does your stream. Another benefit of doing individual audio checks like this, this allows you to help balance out your audio or your stream. Say you don't want your Discord voice channel being louder than you are. You can simply raise or lower the amount of output your Discord is bringing in on audio. So that way other people that are in your Discord VC don't overpower you on your own stream. Also same with game audio. Some games are simply just too loud and instead of going through and changing each game's audio, you can simply change all of them with the slide of your bar. So if you want to test this now, simply go to your settings, go to output, recording, and then on here select track one and six for your audio recording track hit okay do a little test recording say just sitting here talking play a game of apex and then stop recording go back and watch the footage anything that's deselected on track six such as spotify will not be in that recording track it's one way to test out if you set your obs up right without going live and bothering your viewers now to sum up what we've done in settings, you've gone to audio, disabled your desktop, output, enabled Twitch VOD track, and set that for any track other than one. For me personally, I set it for six. And then we've gone and added individual audio sources through OBS audio application capture, the beta. 
you add each individual audio source like I have here, Lumia, Game Audio, Spotify, and Discord. We've gone to the global settings. Anything that we do not want going out to live stream, we've unchecked box six, hit close, and you're all set. It's simple as that. Test out on recording and you'll be good to go.